Hi and welcome to the small group video for this week. We just launched a new sermon series um, entitled Love Came Down and this is going to take us right through till Christmas where we particularly um, celebrate the incarnation, the wonder of God coming down to earth. And I spoke um, uh, on Sunday quite um, at length about the, the phenomenal concept that, uh, uh, that we see in this passage in Philippians 2 that I hope you've uh, opened up and already had some uh, little quarterall about um, uh, what stands out for you. But the, particularly for me, that, that piece that, that uh, even though um, uh, he was uh, equal in nature with God um, or a, a was God, he did not consider equality with God as something to be grasped, but made himself nothing. Um, and that that is phenomenal that the creator of the entire universe, the one who brought all things into being, became a tiny seed inside a vulnerable virgin teenage girl's womb. I mean, it's just, it's almost incomprehensible. But it is really important for us to think about that. And we're going to think about how the purpose for that was love and what therefore love looks like and what God's initiative is in love and how that plays out in our lives. Um, the, the following on passage in this um, uh, Philippians um, uh, ch uh, chapter 2 um, goes on to talk about how we uh, um, are to shine like stars in the universe. And that our, um, the impact that we have in our discipleship is to glow and to have an effect on people around us. And that's kind of what we looked at in our last term's sermon series. But this one, we're kind of almost going back to basics, almost taking us back into that deep place of that we need to be renewed in our mind to have the same mind as Jesus, this humility, this depth of love. And so we invite you uh, for these next weeks to meditate on, to be submerged in, to be soaked in the concept of love and that God loves you. And the kind of main point that I made on Sunday was that as we step into this, I think that for most of us, um, we have a resistance to love. Um, and what that bottles down to is that somewhere deep inside us, we think we're not worthy of love. This may be because of what somebody said over us at some point, or what we think other people think of us. It may be because of we think that we haven't done well enough in life, um, that we haven't done enough things, or perhaps it's something that we've done that we think that means that we're not worthy of love. Perhaps that we think that we're less than other people um, when we compare ourselves to others. But God wants us to know that we are his beloved, that we are his precious children. And I talked through uh, a beautiful poem from George Herbert called Love Bade Me Welcome. And in that poem, it unpacks that there are a number of resistances that we have um, uh, hesitating as we come uh, before him to respond to him, thinking that we're not worthy, thinking that we've marred our eyes or had an impact on that or that actually we're guilty of sin. But each time God moves closer to us, he initiates connection with us. And he says, come, you shall come and share with me, life with me, joy with me, come feast with me. I've put that poem in the uh, small group leaders material for this week if you want to spend some time looking at that just as a way to own that you too um, somewhere deep inside think you're not worthy of God's love and this is what participates with your resistance of knowing the depth of God's love but it would be so good it would be so good to know the love of God and to know that love to know that right deep, deep, deep inside, because it would transform everything. What this world needs right now is love. And the chaos and the confusion from uh, the politics of the world and the complexities of what's going on in our economic system, what we actually need now is love. It is the most powerful thing. It is the most beautiful thing. It is the thing that reaches and is available for everyone. God loves us. And I pray that you would experience more of that over these next weeks.
have fun having a conversation and I'm going to pray now. Jesus, I thank you so, so much that uh, you displayed your love for us. Father, I thank you that you love the world so much that you sent your son. And Holy Spirit, I thank you that you move in our hearts to teach us and reshape us, that we would know deeply that we are the beloved children of God. So come, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, take us deeper into this journey in this time. Amen.